free leaf tickets. Clickbait title, sorry. But yes, you want free leaf tickets, don't you, my friend? What are leaf tickets? They're the premium currency. You probably already knew that. But yeah, leaf tickets are these little things here that you buy various things in the game with. And uh, there we go. And so you get a total of just about 1,000 free leaf tickets in the game if you get all of the different methods. So that's roughly 30 bucks worth of leaf tickets, or yeah, $30 worth of leaf tickets that we get for free uh, compared to the normal prices. So how do we get them leaf tickets? Well, number one way is stretch goals. Well, actually number one way is leveling up. Every time you level up, you get 10 leaf tickets. So as you can see, I'm level 50, so I've gotten 500 leaf tickets that way. That'll make up the bulk of your leaf tickets, but you'll get them kind of gradually. Um, early on, you'll get a lot of them through these stretch goals. And these are just things you wanna do anyway. You just get rewards for learning the game, basically. It's like an achievement system. Every mobile game tends to have these. You get little rewards for learning how to play the game right and so on. You get about 235, if I recall correctly, different leaf tickets for free. Um, yeah, 235 you get from the stretch goals. Um, you'll get about 30 from the login bonuses. Um, there's a special first 10 days login bonus that'll give you some extras. You get another 20 for their logging in during the launch period, which is um, 30 days after the initial launch, the, the worldwide launch, not the Australian one. Um, you also get, when you link a My Nintendo account, you get 100 from a stretch goal, and you also get a free batch of 50 inside the My Nintendo rewards. So I guess I might as well show you the My Nintendo rewards as well. I strongly recommend linking a My Nintendo account, not just because of the free leaf tickets, but that is also the only way to secure your cloud save data. So like, if your phone explodes, um, uh, and you did not connect to my Nintendo account, you might be out of your save data forever. So I would link one of those right away. It's a free thing. It takes like three seconds to set up. Maybe not three seconds, but you know, a small amount of seconds. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's easy to set up. And once you do that, you can get these little missions and you get these rewards. You spend... You spend those coins on these rewards here. There's two exclusive outfits here. You get the OK Motors cap and the jacket. And then you can spend uh, your bells or your coins on bells or crafting materials. It's particularly important early on because you'll feel really limited by crafting materials early on. Later on, that's less the case. And you'll be more limited by the rarer crafting materials like essence and, um, and uh, sparkle stones, those are called. So yeah, all in total, there's about a thousand uh, free leaf tickets, if my calculations are correct. That's depending on how many levels up there are. There's 150 for linking your My Nintendo account. There is at least 600 from level up rewards. I think there's at least 700 though. Uh, I don't know the exact max level, but it's looking like it's going to be at least 60 to 70. So that would be 700. There's 235 from the miscellaneous stretch goals. There's about 30 for the login bonuses. There's 20 for the launch bonus. And that gives us about um, uh, 935 to like 1,035 or so, depending on what the max level is. So, Parker, you are in the way. I'm sorry, my cat is helping. Um, what do you do with all of those leaf tickets? Number A, what you want to do is get your cat out of the way of your phone. Thank you. Number two is you want to get these uh, crafting spaces. Um, early on in the game, you're going to be severely limited by your ability to craft things. And um, for 80 leaf tickets, you can buy another crafting slot. You're going to want both of those as soon as you can possibly get it, which is very, very early on. Um, trust me, those are the best things you can buy with leaf tickets, period. Um, after you've bought those two, that's only 160 leaf tickets, so that's not many at all. After those, you have a choice. You can either buy some exclusive cosmetics with them, or you can get some gameplay features with them. Personally, as you can see, I did get one of the special things. You have just enough leaf tickets to, to get all of those crafting spaces and both of these special items, uh, but you can't get absolutely every crafting thing or every exclusive cosmetic because there's also um, special camper skins that total up to like almost a thousand. Like if you want all the camper skins, it's fairly expensive. 
And uh, you can also spend tickets to speed up crafting and stuff. Don't do that though. Um, to speed up only the amenities alone, I think it would be over a thousand dollars worth of leap tickets. Just wait. It's Animal Crossing. It's a game we're supposed to check in every couple day, you know, every day or so. It's you can wait. Trust me. And if you can't wait, if you're really willing to spend several thousand dollars on a mobile game, have you seen my patron? I think you should see my patron. Anyway, another thing you can do with your leap tickets is you can buy, you can expand your collected items inventory here from a regular max of 150 to 250. Um, every five slots costs 20 leaf tickets, so it's fairly expensive, but it is very nice to have this expanded inventory. I bought all of them. Um, I forget how many, I forget basic math. It's five, it's, it's 100 divided by five, so that's 25 times 20. So it's 100, no, it's, I don't know how many it is. I think I listed in my guide, but I forget. It's a fair amount of leaf tickets, I can tell you that. But it is enough that I managed to get all of them, plus some market boxes, which I honestly don't recommend, plus Nook's chair. It's kind of up to you what to do with the, the other leaf tickets, like I said. The, the crafting ones are the only ones that are like, get it, just get it, don't even think about it. Um, you can get both of these things if you want to. I kind of recommend getting the collected items first, because that'll help you long term. The cosmetic items are, you know, they're actually not nice. I was going to call them nice, but I, I, I showed a video with Nook. He just sits in his chair and sleeps all day, and he has like three lines of dialogue. It kind of sucks. I'm sorry. Um, you can also expand your market box. It's not very worth it because, you, as you can see, I have a bunch of things listed as like the cheapest possible prices. And I have a hundred friends, the maximum amount of friends. And, and nobody buys it. I hope I didn't just end the recording there. I pressed the power button like an idiot. That's right, I'm stupid. Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is what you can do with your leaf tickets and how to get them. So obviously, you know, how you spend leaf tickets is up to you. It doesn't really matter other than you really do want those crafting things, and I would recommend the collected items thing. Other than that, you can pretty much spend them on the cosmetic things you want. Um, I would recommend against paying down any timers, um, or going for Shovel Strike Quarry, because Shovel Strike Quarry, 20, 20 leaf tickets per go is kind of eh. Um, you'll get enough. The main thing you want Shovel Strike Quarry for, I'll do a video on that by the way, the main thing you want that for is essences, and you'll run out of things to use essences for, so. As long as you're patient, I would strongly recommend you spend the leaf tickets on permanent upgrades and cosmetic stuff, not not pain pass stuff. Like I said, over a thousand bucks to skip all the timers in the game. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Do you think it's worth it, Parker? I don't think he thinks it's worth it. Can I get a louder denial? If, if I want him to mew, he does not mew. When, when I do not want the mew, that is when the mews happen. Yes. <laughs> Alright, that's... Thanks, everybody. I, like I said, I got other videos, so... If you have questions about other stuff in the game, check out those other videos. Check out my guide on sirtapdot.com. Um, check out the playlist that'll probably be on an end card that's showing up, like, right now. 